Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. Dynamic change in the history of Aternum last night as the Covenant forces of the Spud Buds convert the Spice Rich region of First Light. KOTT News spoke with the Potato Pontiff of the Spud Buds, who spoke to us about their night. Congratulations on your victory here in First Light overcoming the forces of the Dodgers to become the reigning Spice Lords of the island. How do you think it went out there tonight? I think it went spudly well. Uh, it was a quick win. Um, unfortunately, we were looking for a, more of a battle, but we still had fun with it, and we have our home back. Returning once again to Great House status after being recognized as the rapid responders to the corruption invasion megastorm, how does it feel to be back into one of the big houses? Oh, it feels amazing. We have missed our homelands, and we are looking forward to doing what we do best, which is taking care of everything. Was there anybody on the battlefield today who might have impressed you with their performance? Uh, quite a few folks. Um, half of our squad were new to the war arena and impressed me with how quickly they were rallying together, getting situated and familiar with the scene. And I just want to say Kay here right in front of me has made some dramatic improvements and she's just astonishing me every single day. Oh, right in front of you, this, this person right here. Mm-hmm. She has never PVP'd before in her whole entire gaming life. She does not like to PVP and she jumped in and she was amazing. A long look at the weather tonight as a cool wind is beginning to blow from an unusual direction. Reports from the forward observation post of Morningdale seem to indicate a new swell of shipwrecked refugees will arrive soon. KOTT News will bring you more on this ongoing story as it develops. Looking at the same day Doppler radar forecast, however, the sun appears to be doing its thing again today with only a 30% chance of corruption invasion forces rising up across the island. Three more submissions for simulated fantasy combat resolution tonight, brought to you by LARPCO. Remember, if it isn't LARPCO, it's cardboard. First up, the syndicate members of Soju Gang assail the Covenant forces of Tropical House for control of the master fishing port town of Reekwater. Soju Gang, wasting no time, exercising their right to rematch immediately following the outcome two nights ago. But what made their next strategy so clear? Tropical House have begun working on new engineering designs for an improved highway single beam suspension bridge. Will this conflict cause mathematical distractions? Meanwhile, the Marauders of Thrust Damage assault the Covenant forces of Most Wanted for control of the primary oil reserves of Weaver's Fin. The rivalry developing between these two competing forces of the Finn continues to grow as marauders return once again to secure this eastern hub town. Most wanted forces in a position where they need to split their forces well tonight. With two defensive holds, it will have to be two squads. Ongoing simultaneously to all that, the marauders of hide and go seek Dodgers attack the covenant forces of most wanted for crown and kingdom of the Western Monarchs Bluff. The hide-and-go-seek Dodgers exercising their right to rematch a few nights after losing the crown earlier in the week, as they continue to vie for control of the southern trade routes. The Most Wanted Kingdom continues to maintain two regions through constant offensive strategies, but have they grown to the scale of being able to field two defenses tonight? Be sure to tune in for complete coverage and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant. KOTT News.